Hey, how's it going, everybody? Today we're gonna be playing some Jingtian. And we are up against Heimdaler. And the reason I'm playing Jingtian is that he was recently buffed. I believe they buffed a lot of his damage numbers and a little bit of his cooldown on his two and just a, a little bit of different things. Um, but but yeah, he's he's quite quite a bit stronger and he was already a pretty solid guardian pick, so uh, let's do this. I'm going to start with a uh, Vampiric Shroud into a Bancrofts. And then we're going to go with some potions. And against Hundler, you always want beats because the ultimate's pretty damn strong. And as for leveling up my abilities, probably going to do 1, 2, 3. But might even put an extra point in my 1 if I don't need my 3 at the beginning. We'll wait and see. Uh, but I wanted to let you guys know that currently... I'm kind of taking a break from streaming Smite. I'm still going to be uploading videos on YouTube, but uh, like Smite videos, but I, I'm going to be taking a break from streaming it. I just really haven't been enjoying streaming it. I just, it kind of, I don't know. I, I don't I don't have to go into the depth of why, but I just like want to let you guys know if you come by the stream, I'm, I'm not doing Smite. That's why. Um, probably can get this red buff. But yeah, we'll continue doing the full gameplays for YouTube for now. And we'll see what happens. Looks like he started his blue buff. So I should be able to get red buff for free, which is just fine because I have a lot of mana potions. There he is. For a second, I was worried he was one of those AFK bots. <coughs> Excuse me. Recently had a game where... Uh, you know, the game loads in, and then they're just AFK, but they're not being kicked from the game. And then I go and see that they're just in Fountain using the ability every five seconds. Like, exactly. And it's just an AFK bot. Those used to be more prominent in Smite. They get banned pretty fast, but uh, they used to be a huge problem. Where, like, people were running them constantly, and they would just ruin all matches and, like, Conquest and stuff. I think it was more of a console problem for some reason. Again, that's the problem with... It's kind of difficult to deal with when the game's free, right? Hard to guarantee that. Let's get his beats. Free beats. Next time, uh, we'll be able to get a huge amount of damage on him. In fact, I'm surprised he's not doing the same thing to me. Just trying to get my beats. Although, I probably wouldn't beads it if I'm at full health. Alright, let's back up. I can get I can tier 2 Bancrofts now. I will miss out on the minis by Demon King, but that's all right. Also, he's going Leather Cowl into Short Bow. So, uh, late game, this starter item is not really too much a problem. I'm just happy he didn't go Mannequins. Makes it a lot more fun. Then I can Beads if he, I need to. Uh, based on the, where that crystal went, yeah, he's still a little out of position. Oh, but my cooldowns are so long. I don't even think I could chase him. I could try to dive, but then I'm going to have to use my beads. Or that. <laughs> that works for me. It's one of those things where I was expecting to leap in, use my beads on his ultimate. Also, he has a Bifrost there, so you can teleport back. Got to be careful about that. Um... And then he would ult me, I'd have to beads and then leap out or whatever. But because he missed his ult entirely, I mean, that was just better. I was more worried about my three not giving me the chance to use my second leap if I got hit by his ult. And even if I beats it. Because then I might have taken too much damage from tower or something like that. I don't know. Ooh, that's unfortunate that that cancels that. Let's get it. Let's get him here. His beats are down. His ult is down. Everything's down. I have no cooldowns, but we can get him with the good old auto attacks, especially since we have Bancrofts. Just good damage there. Nice. Looks like he's going another item instead of finishing Oboe. Don't know if that's the best idea. Again, on Jingtian, I like leveling up the two for the longer CC. Especially when I like toss them into the tower with my alt and then just CC them for longer with the root. 
Leveling up to three is good too. Just depends on your playstyle. I don't think one is always better than the other. I do think it's worth maxing the one though. Especially against hunters. Jingtian's one reduces their auto attack damage by 50% once you max it. So, I mean, that's pretty good. I'll use a mana potion here. Alright, let's back up. No reason for us to stay. Nothing's really up. I mean, I guess minis are up, but... Um, I wasn't really able to do too much poke to him. Let's get tier 2 breastplate. Breastplate of the is a great item. You know, I would, I would love it. I was talking to my brother the other day and we were talking about smite items and how every time they had to do smite items they have to do something crazy you know like prid win it gives you a shield with based on your protections and staff of beard in it lowers your cooldowns ever after you use your ultimate for x amount of time over the cap you know what i mean and we're just talking about it and we're like wouldn't it be cool if they just added a bunch of items that are just stats like just to give some variety like, give me more items like Breastplate of Valor, man. Breastplate of Valor is a solid item. It's not super OP. It's just a solid item. I want more items like that. <laughs> just, just straight up stats, solid items, variety, you know? Where the passives are, like, simple, you know? Like, like for example, Crusher. Pretty simple passive. Pretty good, good solid item. Nice stat, nice base stats. Just stuff like that. I don't know. We don't need items that are crazy, you know? Because all the items that have been adding, added smite, the passives always have to become like five paragraphs long. Even like Stone of Foul, man. That is a weird item. Which I believe it has been nerfed recently. Uh, I'm not going to wait for 100 gold. We'll just go back. Yeah, one thing, I, I'm not going to ult that. I'm at full ult. Or beat that, I mean. Oh, man. I'm Delir ult still bugged, huh? How many years has that been in the game? Probably stayed in the tower for there too long. I forgot what I was going to say. But yeah, Heimdallir all uh, still kind of doesn't throw you through through Nif Niflheim or whatever it's called. It just throws you in the sky. Oh, I might die here. No, that's not worth I was going to use my three on him, but as a little too risky. Ooh, dominance on Heimdallir. I think that's an amazing item. Ooh, let's actually get him here. Because he doesn't expect me to stay. It's not like he has life still. Oops. I can get red buff. Ooh, dominance on Heimdler. I actually, I actually really like that. Pretty smart use of... Because uh, the way Heimdler autos work is he has really low attack speed, but they hit super hard, so with dominance. Pretty pretty good uh, comb combination with that. Alright, we don't really need... Well, Divine Rune's still worth here. He doesn't have major lifesteal, uh, but Cowl does give a little bit, and when he upgrades it, it's going to give more. So I think Divine Rune's already worth it, and then also uh, kind of persuades him not to get Aussie. He could still get it, and it would still be good for him, but sometimes it would be better if he doesn't. Better for me. Missed. Oh, Ooh, nice counter ult. I'll take that, ult for ult. I think his ult is better, if only because he's playing defensively, and if I get ulted in his tower, that could be super bad. Oh, I try to beat that. I might die. I'm committing for this. Alright. <laughs> that was super weird. Let's, let's back up a little bit, because he's gonna he might teleport back. 
Always got to be thinking about that. All right. Oh, what recall is this? I don't know. Probably in the new Odyssey or something. I have my recall set to random, so whenever a new recall comes out and it randomly sets to it, it's kind of cool. Um, let's see. Still doesn't have a second relic. We should wait, even though we're ahead. It would be really bad if he got horrific. Because I'm having to use my, my leap to engage so often. If he ends up using horrific after I've used both leaps, um, then I'm going to have to ult, which is just not great. And if I don't, I'll take way too much damage from his autos. Just way, 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 way too much. Unlimited vision. Out of the range of knockup. Uh, I might get a Typhons. It doesn't look like he's getting anti-heal yet. Oh, I missed. Unfortunate. I try to ult him here. I don't have my beads up. I don't know. I don't know if he knew that or not. But I'm gonna try to use my two and one when I land. Oh, perfect! That's so good. The reason I wanted to go for my two and one there, even though it was super dangerous, is because he used his his two, which is the knockup. He used his ultimate, and that's pretty much everything he had to like burst me down. Or to prevent me from killing him anyways. There was a chance I died too, but I just felt like it was worth committing since I was already thrown into his tower. Let's back up. I'm actually going to upgrade my beads early. I think it's worth it against gods like Heimdall. However you say that his name, I don't know. Heimdaller, Heimdall, Heimdaller. Whichever one is correct. Um, he did get Sunder, so I think a blink is good here. I think a Sunder would have also been good, but I'll, I'll go with a blink. Blinking after him and ulting is always good. That's awesome that we got uh, Tower. I should try to pressure for Demon Kings at, like soon. And actually, I think I can bait him. Right now, he has a Bifrost at Demon King. So if I make it look like I'm going to go take it over here, he's going to teleport to it. I'm going to purposely walk in the vision of it. And if he teleports to it, then he's kind of here and he becomes a sitting duck. Is he going to do it, though? No, he's not. He's kind of I have to come over here so I don't miss out. Because <laughs> the reality is I have, I have no way of taking Demon King, by the way. <laughs> that's, the, that's the unfortunate reality of Guardians. Uh, it's just way too difficult. Also, he's getting wards, so I'm going to get a sentry. Uh, let's get a Spear of the Magus. Or Spear of the Magus, whichever. And he's going he's going uh, Aussie. So even though we got Divine Rune, he decided to get it anyways, which is perfectly fine for me. Also, he no longer has his two wards, which means he's placed both of them. I'm assuming one on Demon King, one to the entrance of Demon King. I didn't kill that many, but that's all right. But he outwards me. Might steal this. Yeah, I don't think I can secure it. Oh, unless he misses. He is going crit. I should probably get Spectral. He's going crit Heimdall with with dominance. It's very bad. Hold on. <laughs> I, I don't know if that was a sentry or a regular ward. I think it was a regular ward. But I just I just had to get it. Also, his uh his his three is down for a while. That was like across the map. He wasn't actually in any danger, but you know. So now he doesn't and he still gets vision of me, which kinda sucks. Hmm. He did get a sentry. Nobody outwards me, buddy. Take you down. Go 
take a red buff, even though I can't pick it up. Yeah, pretty much our win condition is to kill him with a minion wave not too far behind. That's how we win this game. Because once we get Phoenix, getting Titan is easy. Okay, he's uh, counter-warding me right now. I actually doubt he's going to go for Demon King right now. Highly doubt it. We'll see. Still not finishing his oboe. I guess the tier 2 oboe is almost as good as full oboe, but a lot cheaper. Never thought about it that way. Since the full oboe has gotten its stats nerfed a few times. Yeah, actually pretty, pretty good tier 2 item. Uh, did he have his entry ward? I guess he did. Some way, somehow. I'm okay with this. I'll, I'll, I'll keep doing this, man. It is more important for me to have vision on it than him. Because, again, I can't take Demon King in a timely manner. If I go for Demon King, he decides to push a wave. He could take my tower and Phoenix in the time that I take Demon King. So, it's more way more important for me to actually have it warded than him. Which is the funny part. No sir. No sir. He has another sentry. <laughs> he gets so much vision, man. Uh, that was his regular ward. That was beads. Pretty important. Pretty important to get his beads. Now, I would like him to stay here with how low health he is. And I'm going to try my best to make him stay. Oh, I tried pressing beads and it didn't go off. No. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, he ran away. Never mind. I didn't realize how low health he got, actually. Now we wait for the red buff to spawn. He's going to go counter ward. That's all right. But mind his beats are down right now so if i get some damage on him it's pretty good that instant instant escape man pretty pretty good that's gonna be down for a while i'll recall and then come back and we'll see what what we can get let's get this this okay so now i have huge amount of sustain with uh, blood soaked blood soaked just huge amount of sustain i can actually sell bancrofts and still have a good amount of sustain probably get spectral next item and then swap up uh bancrofts for something i don't know but he doesn't have anti heal so bancrofts is still worth to keep if he gets double defense that's where things are going to start to suck a little bit Okay, he's pausing. Uh, I'm just going to resume the recording after the pause, so be right back. All right, and we are back in this game. Three levels ahead, but... It's just so risky to fight him in his, his Phoenix. Down awarding me again. Um, I do have minions here, so I'm going to try to do as much damage to Phoenix as I possibly can. Backdoor protections are gone. 
He's gonna ult me here, most likely. Okay. I mean, I got a little bit of Phoenix. Like one fourth of it, one seventh. Get a little bit more here. He actually backed up, which he should not have done. Because now I'm gonna get like half a Phoenix. I'm not gonna die for this, but I will. Uh, no, you know what? I will die for this. And you know what? I might not even die for it. <laughs> yeah, you can you can kill me. That's so good. All right. Um, okay, change of change of plans. I'm gonna see what tier one item he gets. If it's not Toxic Blade, I'm going Typhons. I have so much life still with ty Blood Soaked and Spear of the Magus. Uh, yeah. Okay, we're going Typhons. That. And Bancrofts as well, that if I get Typhons, I'm going to get a huge amount of power, as well as a little bit of pen. The downside is I might get one shot by his crit. But I can always sell... Uh, I don't want to sell uh, Breastplate, but I mean, if he doesn't have Anti-Heal, I think this is the better option. If he had Anti-Heal, I, I think Spectral would be better. Game this red buff is huge, by the way. All right, cool. All right, now we push for the win. Like I said, the hard part was getting Phoenix. Let's get his beads. Or that. I'll take it. His other Bifrost is... Is not that far away is what I was going to say. It was over there. Or actually, the one that's right there. So I could have chased him. So I wasn't too worried about him using that. But hey, I was able to kill him, so... I don't think that's game, if only because he did clear the wave. And Guardians kind of suck at taking Titan on their own unless they're going an auto attack build. And even even like with 10 seconds, if I go in here and I use all my abilities, I have to back out of it. And, you know, Titan does not take too much damage. But I can just do that again in the win, hopefully. I'm going to try to ult before I leave. Because, again, I, I do want to get my full build. But if I can ult before I leave and get his beads, that'd be amazing. And he keeps going back to his fountain. Stop going back to your fountain. There it is. All right, I'm out of here. Bye-bye. See you next time. See you in 65 seconds. Because that means next time he's, he's going to have to save his ult for my ult. And there's just a lot higher chance of me being able to kill. Actually, no, 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 no. His Phoenix is coming up right now. We need to get this. I cannot recall. It's a good thing I was paying attention to that. Things shouldn't come up quite yet, right? There it is. What? I thought that auto attack would kill and it didn't. Run! Oh, his Bifrost is over there. If he decides to try and cut me off, so I gotta go this way. I Okay, I know that was really bad. I But let me explain myself. <laughs> when I did that auto attack, I thought... It would be enough to kill the Phoenix, so I that immediately turned to run and leave. And it didn't kill the Phoenix. So then I panicked, turned back around to the Phoenix to try to get it. But at that point, a minion got in my way, and I auto the minion. Oh, it was just so bad. I, I, I was able to get out and get the Phoenix, so it all made up for it. But obviously, that was not what I intended to happen. Him getting Demon King, not a problem. I, I've, I still have Tower. Not even a problem at this point in the game. My tower shouldn't even be alive at this point. Also, should not have picked up red buff. I mean, should not pick up blue buff. I should have waited for red. That's all right. I mean, look at my power. 629. Good amount of power. All right, let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Try pressing that beats. Damn. I don't, don't know why my beats hates me so much. Oh, 
Don't know why my beats hates me. Dodge his ability. Should be able to end pretty soon. We're doing good damage to the Titan. Oh, what are you doing, buddy? Wait, what are you doing? Well, I mean, I guess he was shopping. I, I don't know. He was shopping for that item. Got distracted by the window shopping. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. I mean, I'm obviously not going to back up if he's just sitting and pouting, right? I mean, that's that's not on me. That's on him. GG's. Yeah, I am in plat, by the way. I, I've been... I've had so many bad games recently, which is one reason why I'm taking a break from streaming Smite, but still gonna try to keep playing for YouTube. I uh, hope here are the stats. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.